What's the chat, Charles? And turn Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Black and White Free Trial Run. In the last episode, we made it right here to Striaton City, and we took on our gym leader right here, Silent, and received our sixth gym badge. Today, we are working our way down to Akumia Town and possibly trying to get back to November Town. Uh, where Professor, well, the least qualified person to be a Pokemon Professor is Professor B uh, Bianca. Not, I mean, to those people who uh, champion Bianca and uh, make, it, make her seem like she is, like, the best, you know, the best rival you're gonna, you get. She's not, she's awful. Okay? As friendly rivals go, she is probably the worst. And also, as uh, as friendly rivals go, who who somehow become professors' assistants, she is the worst. Like Gary, Gary is a better professor than Bianca would ever be, and Gary, Gary is an actual professor in the anime. So, there you go, that's literally all I'm going to say about Bianca being, uh, uh, you know, being a professor's assistant to becoming, an, uh, to becoming an actual Pokemon professor. If that is the, you know, if that is, if she is a Pokemon professor, I want to know what the qualifications are to being a Pokemon professor, because how I could be a Pokemon professor in that situation. I mean, I'm a Nuzlocke veteran, so I would be a very good... Pokemon Professor. Although my field of study would be po yeah, would be Nuzlocke science, uh, Nuzlocke sciences, yeah, because I would be able to teach people. I would be able to teach people the uh, basically the 101s of how to do in uh, Nuzlocking 101. So if you want a crash course in Nuzlocks, hit me up. Uh, on Twitter at Lantern Joe because I can give you a crash course in Nuzlocks because I'm I'm not horrible. Let's just say that I'm pretty good now these days. I mean I've got eight years of experience doing this, so I know what I'm doing when it comes to Nuzlocks. And I I've never done a perf I've never done a perfect lock before. But it is something I would love to do one of these days to get a perfect lock, no deaths. But then again, if I was to do this, people would call my series boring because nothing's uh, because people think that you know deaths need to happen in order to make a series interesting when it comes to Nuzlocke. Personally, I don't see that, but um. I could see where people think that, you know, you know, that would be a thing. So, I could see it being a thing that people would want, you know, oh, you've got to, you can't have a series without deaths, because uh, that would mean that, you know, you're, you know, you're too good for this, and you've got to make yourself, you've got to make it harder, you've got to try harder disciplines, like a Shady Lock, for example. And that, to tell you the truth, I would never try a Shady Lock. That looks... Uh, Shady Penguin has done real... Has done something amazing with that series. And I don't know if I could uh, even attempt uh, what he has done with that series. And whether I could actually do it myself. And, and make my own... Uh, do my own series with a Shady Lock. I've seen other people who aren't named Shady Penguin do uh, Shady Locks. Because, you know, it's not his... You know, he doesn't have the copyright to say only he can do it. But, uh... It's really... Uh, uh, I've seen people struggle with it, really, so I don't know. And I've played... I've done... Uh, Dreyanu ROM hacks are really hard, too, so, again... I've done a few of those in my time, so it would be really hard. I mean, I've got biz... Uh, this week I've had a very busy... I'm going to be having a very busy week, so I'm going to... To tell you the truth, I'm surprised I'm able to get this video out to you guys. Oh. Wait. 
Um, I'm a little bit worried here. This ponyard is going to... Okay. This ponyard is not going to kill me. There you go. Oh, that for a car boss. I didn't even need to come up here and face you, but I did. Uh, and I got a, I got a car boss for it. I mean, I'll take a car boss. This tree can be cut, and I don't have the ability to cut the tree. So, I guess we'll fight these twins? Do I need to cut the tree? Because I'll go and cut the tree. If I need to cut the tree, I will cut... Oh, Axe you! Okay. Uh, Nightshade. Okay, yeah, good thing I'm a ghost, because I can't be hit by Flail. Okay. You still can't hit me with Flail. You should have a dragon move by now. I mean, thankful you don't, but there's D-Dance. But that's okay, because you're going to die from this Nightshade. And what is next? The teeny, so I don't really have too much. I guess no, I actually don't have a, too much full list of other teenies. I'm gonna go into. Uh, I'm gonna go into uh, digger to uh, Rolly to deal with this. Hopefully, Rolly can deal with this because I don't know what I'm gonna do about the teenies. Anyway, so yeah, I've got a busy week ahead of me for this week. I've got like three job interviews. Uh, I've just been to my first one today. Uh, for a uh, for an IT support IT support first line. Oh, we're learning earthquake! Yay! Bye bye, Dig. We have EQ now. I am so happy about that. So, yeah, so I just had my first job interview this week. First of three uh, this week. Um, hopefully, we'll see about if there's going to be any more. Uh, this we got an, I got at least another two coming up. Uh, one for a junior IT analyst, uh, junior IT data analyst, and one uh, for a trainee IT teacher. So those are roles that I'm looking forward to this week, uh, and they're all over Zoom or Teams, so I can do them anywhere in the world, which I'm choosing to do them from the office. Yeah. You know from the command center right here at Lantern Joe HQ. So that's going to be really interesting. That's a that's this week. And then I might have a possibility of a fourth job interview this week. I don't know. Um, I have like work coaches and stuff like that who help get me interviews sometimes. And uh, there was a possibility of him getting me a job interview being a... Uh, concierge at a hotel. I don't know if I'd be any good at that. I don't know what the hell concierges do. If anyone knows what concierges do, let me know in the comment section down below because I have no idea whether I'd be good at this or whether I'd be able to do this. I mean, I'm quite confident in talking to people, so it might be an idea to uh, try it. I'm not very phone confident, but then again, that's because like, I don't really talk of, you know, I don't really talk over the phone a lot, so it's hard to say whether I'd be phone confident or not. And I much prefer to do things over the internet and in text based uh, things like Discord and stuff like that. But that doesn't mean I couldn't do phone stuff, it's just I don't really. It's just I've never used it. So I don't know. doesn't mean that it couldn't happen. I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to take off the experience show on Rolly because, like, Rolly, you're at the forefront right now. You're level 36. You're only, you are in a league of your own with bits. All my storage space is full. So I can't take off your experience share because I have to drop it. I much prefer the uh, older, uh, the newer systems where you could move items. There, bitch, you have that. And now, can I drop my experience share to give to Mr. Toad? Or uh, price cut? Yeah, uh, power cut, say. Alright, 
There you go, power cut. You have experience share. Bet. Now somebody has an experience share. Okay, so there's a policeman here. So I guess I'll fight you. Danger looks at night. I know. That's why you shouldn't go outside at night. Although people say it's the best time because you won't get... You can do... It's the best time to do exercise because you won't get, like... There's no traffic on roads and stuff like that. There's no traffic at night time, so it's the best time to go and do some running. I know this because, like, I used... I have a few brothers and they've said to me, like, the best time to go and do exercise is, like, 3 a.m. in the morning. And, like, how is it 3 a.m.? And uh, Why are you up at 3 a.m. in the morning exercising? That seems like the dumbest idea ever. But if it works for them, it works for them. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to say that they're weird. And I'd much rather do it. Uh, I'd much rather do it my way, which is I go for a big walk on a Saturday afternoon, which is what I do. Okay, so Vaporeon down. Why does the policeman have a Vaporeon? I mean, it's a good, reliable dog, but unless just I was thinking more like most policemen would have Growlithes. Or, um, or Herdias or Stoutlands, because, you know, Stoutland is a good boy. Confirmed, Stoutland is a good boy. If there's any trustworthy po if there's any trustworthy dog Pokemon, I would say Stoutland is a trustworthy dog Pokemon, is a good boy. You there we go. Ponyards are really hard uh, to beat. What is this? This is a full heal. Nice. Should I heal? Yeah, I probably should heal. Do I have healing items? I do. Energy root. Uh, guess you can have that. I know it looks a bit bitter, but the fact is, I don't really care. Do I have revival herb? I do. Get back up. Get back up, Jack. I am aware it looks bitter. But, you know, if I'm not care, if I don't really need to uh, have you use return, or care about you using, uh, you know, items, you know, like, uh, items that benefit like health, uh, like happiness and stuff like that. Uh, I don't really need it right now. The only Pokemon that needed to, for me to worry about uh, happiness was Lucario. And, well, look at Lucario. He's fully evolved now. So, he is a Lucario. So, now I don't need to care about th using things like Revival Herb, Energy Root, and every other, all the other ones. Because, like, I have a Lucario now. And that's, the, that's the, just the way I play these games when it comes down to it. If I have the ability to use items, I'm going to use these uh, dangerous items that are a bit bitter. And Pokemon particularly don't like them, but uh, they're very useful and quite cheap, too. So, I think they're not as bad as uh, people think. They're natural. It's as bad as... <laughs> You could say it's as bad as a vegan, uh, like an entirely vegan lifestyle. For yourself. I mean, I, I know what vegans are like. Don't worry, my brothers, I have brothers who are vegan. Or uh, vegetarian, that is. We're in Aculia Town! I need to heal. Okay, we are nicely healed. Everyone's nicely healed. We are in Akumia Town. Let's talk to some people. Hello. Team Plasma came to town two, uh, years ago. They tried to convince the townspeople to give up their Pokemon. Yes, I remember. I was there for that. You know, Joanne was there. Hashtag Joanne was there. 
Hashtag Joanne stop them. The gym over in Stryerton City just reopened recently. Silent is a master of grass type Pokemon. He'll make you pay if you don't watch yourself. Well, yeah, but also I beat him. Gen 2 Akuma Town music is awesome. I'm thirsty. Do you have something? Do you have some soda pop? I do not, but I can get some. Oh, please. I will get you some soda pop. I'm thirsty. Do you have some lemonade? I do actually have some lemonade. Thanks. Leafstone. And you want a fresh water. So I guess this is how you get stone. Hmm. This is how you get like a fire leaf and gr like a fu- uh, this is how you get like a spare fire leaf and uh, sorry, fire leaf and water stones. So that's pretty cool. Those people look important. I'm going to go and see what they want in there. Ah, so the mart is down here where when the condominiums was. Okay. And then there's this house here. Hello. Skarmory's cute, but I don't have it. Do you have Skarmory? Uh, do you want to trade it for my Larvesta? I do not have a uh, Skarmory. But that's pretty cool. You can get a free Skarmory there. Let's go and talk to these people. Hello. Oh dear. He's found that Team Plasma are probably up to no good. Hey, that Team Plasma guy has uh, something. I bet he stole it. I have no choice then. Maybe I should have talked to these people before talking to this guy. Plasma Sage Ryuki. But it doesn't really matter, really. We're going to stop them. Do you have the data disk? Is that what you have? Like, are you up to? Did you steal the data disk? Like, because I need to get that back. Ah, you got burned. I mean, yeah, sure, I'm poisoned, but, like, you got burned. But I should resist that. That did a quite a bit for recovery. It's fine, and Nightshade should kill from here. That's, that's, you have more than 34 health. You have less than 34 health. Okay, good work, Chibi. Tropius coming in. I mean, I might be able to stay in a little longer. Level 38. Belly drum, you're a belly drum. You're a belly drum set. I'm not okay with this. Can a lava plume kill you now that you belly drummed? It can! Cool! No need to worry then. And because, uh, you know, I take you out, I don't get poison damage. That's how Gen 2 works. And Amoongus. Level 40? Yeah. Sludge Bomb. Ooh, nasty. Ooh, I lived on 27. And because I'm ghost type, I resist. Because ghosts resist poison. Wow, that does not do a lot of damage to me. Uh, yeah, I'm in quite a bit of trouble here. Let me switch out. Who do I go into? I'm gonna go into. I'm gonna go into power cut. Can I handle a sludge bomb from you? I can about. I'm going to put up a light screen. Just so you stop trying to kill me with your sludge bombs. 
I lived on 15, shockwave. Wow, that does nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna go down to this sludge bomb. Can I even take you out? Am I just gonna die here? I might die here, I might lose, even though I got a Ooh. I can get off another lava plume at least. Oh. I, got, I go down into poison, but that's okay. Bits. Quick attack. Oh, you had to heal. Why? Why heal? Fine, I will bulk off. And you have synthesis too! And there goes my light screen. Aura Spear does do as much damage as Quick Attack does. And you have Giga Drain as well! Now you have all the ways of recovering. Like all the ways of recovering all the health. And I'm not like any of it. And synthesis, it mean, this means basically you can get back any health that I do to you. Can I? You got a crit. Oh, okay. Rolly? You just don't EQ. Do you wanna, do you wanna try it? so close and there's the Giga Drain, there's all your health but no okay I come in with a slash and beat you okay fine, thank you oh dear I must retreat here, take it, but that a disc, yay Heal me. Heal me again. I, I'm fine. Hello. Team Plasma are no more. Thanks uh, for getting rid of that guy. Back when Team Plasma was first started, they tried to recruit people from ta our town. I thought Team Plasma was gone. Uh, I hope they don't come back this time. Me too. I really do. Because they don't seem to take no for an answer. I know this because I thwarted their attempts like three times. Uh, like, uh, three times now. Please go away, Team Plasma. Zora. Uh, this is a horrible fight for Chibi, but a, a better fight for Power Cut. Or Bits can even do the damage too. Like, there are so many people in my team that could do the damage better on this thing. I'm going to double kick you. There we go. Double kick works. Okay. And... Spiel. I can double kick that too. So yeah, I can do... That should do the damage? Yes. Okay, cool. So today I had a job interview for a uh, IT support first line. Uh, uh, mean job. And it was, it went pretty well for me. I think, I don't know if I got the job. Uh, there'll be, like, I'll get a call back later on in the week to see if I got the job or not. Uh, basically, 
it was just a get to know me interview and see if I could handle the role and then also later on in the uh, possibly next week I may have a, like a like demo live build that I gotta go and do in their offices you know of a dummy PC to see if I can handle the uh, support uh, you know like PC support and building PCs which is something that would, could be rather interesting to do so I'm excited hopefully this goes rather well and we'll see if we got the um, if I get this job uh, so keep an eye on the channel all week and I'll let you know my uh, uh, how these job interviews go over this week next week and uh, we'll see how things go we'll see how things go because I'm excited and I should definitely be excited for being uh, uh, for these uh, for job interviews like tomorrow I have a junior I have a role for a junior data analyst so I mean I'm not as interested in that role but it's something I could definitely do I know a lot about uh, data analyst uh, you know analyzing data and stuff like that I know a lot about that because I'm pretty good with things like uh, access and uh, you know uh, Excel and stuff like that so I can pretty much look at data uh, uh, in a spreadsheet and uh, figure out what uh, data uh, what data we need to track on so far so I know I know what I'm doing but it's not a role that I'm as interested in as say like IT support I do want to build I do want to build PCs I know how to build PCs if we were in a better academic uh, you know academic climate uh, for building PCs I know Windows 11 has just been released but like we're still in a very bad way for building PCs right now it is probably not a good idea to build PCs right now uh, because like parts are really expensive yeah, and really hard to get a hold of even pre-owned parts are really expensive and really hard to get a hold of these days so it is not a good idea for you to be buying a PC. Uh, uh, it is not a good idea for you to be building a PC at this moment in time. If you are in need of a PC, buy a pre-built PC. Normally, I wouldn't suggest buying pre-built PCs because pre-built PCs are set to what they think is a uh, what they think is necessary for the uh, for what you need. Only you know what you actually need. Not they know, you know, not they think what they think they fi is the right for you. Is basically what I would say is, you know, build your own PC, figure out your own parts, figure out what you need, and then if you need someone to build it for you, that's understandable, but make sure that you know what you want that PC to do. Because if you don't know what that P you don't know, and you know, if you want to do, it, if you want games on it and stuff like that, you gotta make sure you have the right, uh, the capable uh, parts for it. If you, uh, so you, that you don't lose out, or then you can't play some games, and you can play some other games, but you know, not play, uh, not play some games. I mean, the best format to play something like Cyberpunk 2077 is PC right now. So, and that game is, I mean, on console, that game is actually pretty bad, from what I've heard. I haven't played it myself, oh, but on console, I have heard some bad things about it. But on PC, I've heard great things about that game. So uh, there's, uh, that is a good game for you to play on PC. There are, there are other games to play on PC. I mean, like look at GTA 5, for example. Again, console, great, uh, great fun game. I've had a lot of fun during GTA 5 on console. I've got it on. I, I had it on in 360. I've got it on Xbox One. I've played my brother's version on series uh, on their Series S. So, because uh, they have a Series S at their house, and I go to theirs uh, for Power Zone. So I know. I know how it plays on, ser uh, on Series S, uh, so it's quite, it's not as bad as Series, it's pretty good on Series X and S, but I've also played it on PC, and on PC it is a very fun adventure, 
Especially if you've got friends to do GTA Online with. Like, I mean, most of the time when I was playing on consoles, I was mostly doing the story modes. And I, GTA 5 is a great story mode. I, let me just say that. Like, GTA 5 has great story mode. Highly inappropriate for what I do on YouTube, so you'll never, never see an LP on it. But that's <laughs> still a great story mode. Can I make it to November Town? T uh, it, uh, I don't have Surf, but there is a way down to Route 18 there. Tranquil. Okay. Can I... You were the last trainer? You are bugs. Okay. I can deal with bugs. You're a bug catcher. You have one Pokemon. Bug catcher Tim with a Heracross. Power. I love Heracross, it's a very powerful mon. Can I handle this? Don't hit me five times. Please don't hit me five times. Okay, you only hit me three times, cool. Lava Plume should do a lot of damage. Might not kill, but should do a lot of damage. Heracrosses can be bulky. I got the burn! X. Nice work, Chibi! This is the longest time I've actually used a Litwick for. So, I'm really happy about that. Oh, a Purse Kill Berry! Thank you! Okay, so here we are in November Town! Can I heal? You're a Pokemon trainer, right? My daughter is a Pokemon trainer too. She's always treated her Pokemon with care. Each Pokemon has its own special power. Here's a TM. TM, time for hidden power. Okay, try it on each Pokemon. Okay, cool. I wish you'd tell me like what hidden powers my Pokemon have, but that's cool. Welcome to November Town. We may not uh, look like much, but we're home to Unova's Pokemon Lab. Okay. So that's Charon and Bianca's houses. You can't get into them. A couple of years ago, my daughter became a Pokemon professor. I can be more proud. You should be. You should be very proud of that. Right, I'm gonna go and... I'm gonna run and heal. No, you run and heal. Thank you. And in, uh, we're gonna end off today's episode here. In the next episode, we will actually... We will actually go and talk to Bianca in November Town. So, that is the plan for the next episode. We will actually go and talk to Bianca, see what she's up to, and see if uh, we're ready for this. Oh! You are hidden away, and I didn't even know you existed. Power cut. Thunder punch. Thunder punch. And a good... EQ. EQ does almost kill. Vital throw is gonna do a lot to me. Is that gonna no, it's not gonna kill. Cool. Slash. Nice. We beat Battle Terry. What is this item here? It's a protein, but I have no more room for items. That's fine. Didn't want your protein anyway. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We, in the next episode, are going to go and talk to Bianca and see what she is up to. But until next time, I'm Lantern Joe. Mean to the Pokemon get to Lazar. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night!
Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me and the rest of the Lantern Nation. You can also check out these two videos in the top right and top left hand corner. And don't forget to check out Power Zone Metal. It's a weekly radio show where you can listen to heavy metal music and so much more. You can find out more information about that at powerzonemetal.uk. But until next time, I am Lantern Joe, and I will see you next time.